Hello, boys and girls. This is take two of our counterbalance on a thigh stand. So let's first demonstrate a possible fall. From that to here, should be my base to start off. I'm gonna jump onto the thighs here. I'm gonna slowly lean forward. Start to come back. And oh, gosh, gosh. Ah. So, you know you could totally eat it here with your head on the ground. Why? Because your hands are bound by the base and it's often a natural instinct for the base to hold on to your hands as you're falling because it's such a natural instinct to want to protect your flyer but in the act of holding it on you're actually hurting them more because you're taking the very tools they have to brace their fall with their hands. Okay? Um, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this first on the ground so do it first at this level before and get comfortable with it and get comfortable falling out of it before you try it high. Um, so let's demonstrate what that looks like low first. Okay, as the base, I'm going to squat down. My feet are not underneath me, they're flat. My uh, top of my feet are going to be flat on the ground. I'm going to squat down this way. Um, the flyer will stand on my knees here. And then she's gonna stand on my other knees. Notice how she's nice and straight and her hips are forward. If she starts to bend forward at all or lean forward, she's already falling off. So when you get on, get to a nice 90 degrees so it's easier for the base to balance you first. And you'll, as the base grab the front of her thighs, and as you slowly lean back, she can slowly lean forward as well, creating that counterbalance. And then move really slowly. The slower that the flyer moves, it's easier for the base to compensate for that counterbalance. So move slowly. And from there, the fly can come back. And notice again, she's not bending forward. Because when she does that, her weight will come forward. Her hips are forward, and she's standing straight. And that makes it easier for me to transition from this counter over to grabbing our hands this way. Notice the grip here. I'm grabbing like a circus grip here. This won't be as strong. You want to grab the wrist, and the flyer can grab the wrist. Also, I recommend that the flyer does most of the the hold, the, uh, the grabbing of the wrist because then the flyer can control when he or she can wants to let go of the base's hands, which is a much, much safer bind than if the base were to hold on to the flyer. So keep that in mind. So I'm doing the same for the other hand here. And as she slowly leans forward, slowly, I slowly lean back until we have a really nice counterbalance. And she can even look back and I can look back this way create a nice counterbalance as she's leaning away. And I'm constantly gauging how much I need to pull and let go for that balance. I always recommend to cut, to uh, to err on the side of caution and lean further back this way because it's safer to fall back this way I think than to fall forward especially for the second pose. Okay. Now she's going to bend at the waist and lean forward for the final counterbalance. This is when it gets tricky. Okay slowly lean as she slowly leans i slowly lean back and she goes all the way for a forward bend and i lean back so try this first and feel super comfortable falling out of this low position before you go high so now let's demonstrate what it looks like high same thing i'm going to be in a crouching position and now i'm going to Get into a nice squat, grabbing my flyer's hips. She can grab my wrist for support. She can push off of that. And two, one, she'll jump up. And she's getting at 90 degrees again. She's coming back towards me without bending at the hips. So she's nice and 90. It makes it easier for me to, 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 to balance her for now. And then she'll slowly lean forward, slowly, slowly, because the slower she leans forward, the easier it is for me to counterbalance. And from there, she can come back towards me without bending at the waist, because that's a common mistake to bend at the waist. Keep your hips forward. I'm bending also. The lower that I get as the base, it's easier for my flyer to balance on my feet, because I'm more parallel to the ground. I'm going to have her come back towards me more without bending at the waist. From there, I can take one hand off. Remember that grip. Grab the wrist and go for the other grab. And slowly, she's going to lean forward. Slow, slow, slow. And I'm slowly going to lean back. And 
And from there, we'll finally do our forward fold. She's going to slowly, slowly adjust, bending forward. And I'm going to do the same. As she leans forward, I'm going to slowly, slowly lean back. Fold arms, Matt. There you go. To hop off, she will just step forward. So please, guys, if you're going to try this, try it on the lowest, lowest setting first. See how comfortable you feel balancing in it and also falling out of it before you try going high. So until next time, be courageous, but be safe as well. See you guys. Bye.